Hi everyone. So in the previous video, we saw assigning the constraints to the activity as well as to the project. So this video is going to be very, very crucial video because it is about calendars. So creating the calendars and maybe assigning the calendars we'll learn in the next video. It will be a very short topic, but creating the calendars is very, very important. Primavera P6 gives you some predefined set of calendars. I'll show you. If you go to this activity calendar option, so you will have some set of calendars like four, 10 hours, days, work week, seven by 24 hours, days, but these calendars may not suit your project. Your project might be running for 10 days, maybe for six days in a week for 10 hours, or maybe five days in a week for 10 hours, maybe seven days a week for eight hours and so on. So you have to create your own calendar with respect to your own project and you have to assign that particular calendar to several activities. It might also be possible that different activities will have different calendars because of several reasons. Might be possible that concreting will have a different calendar because the concreting gang or concreting equipments are not available like that of shuttering. So you have to assign activity calendars to several activities. Similarly, some resources also have some calendars like, for example, maybe concrete pump is not available to you uh, regularly every day, every week. Similarly, might be possible that some particular gang like plastering gang or maybe mason screw is not coming to the site on a regular basis. It has some fixed schedule. So based on that, you have to create your calendars of resources of your projects, of your activities, and you have to assign them respectively. So we will go to the presentation and we will see what is in the plate. So the very first thing is your project runs on every day except Sunday. Every day is 10 hours long. Every workday, the project starts at 8 a.m. in the morning and you have a lunch break of one hour, which is 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. OK, so workday is 10 hours long. Two public holidays are there, 1st January and 25th December. This is for the testing purpose. We will not be implementing this, but we will be showing you how to do this. Similarly, there is one uh, calendar for your gang also. Plastering subcontractor has high demand, so he works only four days a week. That means the resources, the, the gang of labor, which is of plastering, they work only for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 10 hours per day. All the resources, other resources work as per the same, same schedule, six days per week and 10 hours per day. So first of all, we will create this particular calendar. We'll go to Primavera P6 and we will create this calendar. So to create the calendar, we can just go to the enterprise option, which is in your tools bar, and we can click on this calendar option. You can expand this and you can find the calendar option somewhere here. Okay, so these are some predefined calendars which are available or might be some calendars which you would have created yourself also. Three types of calendar are available, global, resource and project. Global calendars are the calendars which you can use in any project. They are not limited to a certain project. Uh, project calendars are only restricted to be used to a certain project for which you have created them. This is a project of IT building construction. As you can see, if I create a project calendar for this, and if I open a new project of maybe residential complex uh, construction, then that particular calendar will not be available in that particular project. Resource calendars are nothing but the calendars which are uh, restricted to your resources like labels or maybe materials or maybe plants. Okay. So we will create one global calendar. So how to create a calendar? So first of all, we will choose any particular calendar, which is some standard calendar, like standard five day work week. This will have a five day work week. That is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday and Sunday will be off in this particular calendar. So we will modify this calendar. So first of all, you need to check this particular calendar, which you want to use as your base to modify. You can choose any particular calendar. Just I'm using this for the sample purpose right now. We'll click on add. So you have to click again this and we have to click select. Okay. And then we have to name our calendar. So let us uh, name our calendar as IT building calendar. Okay. So now we will choose this calendar. 
we'll click on this and we'll click on modify so now you see it is setting the base of the five day work week calendar and sundays and saturdays are clearly off here and it is eight hours per day working as per that particular calendar that we have chosen for the base but for our project it is clearly mentioned in the presentation that only sundays will be off and it will be 10 hours long okay so now first of all you need to change the work week so sunday is off but saturday is not off so instead of making zero hours on saturday we can go for 10 hours on saturday we can go for 10 hours on friday we can go for 10 hours on thursday we can go for 10 hours on wednesday similarly for tuesday and monday okay and we can click on okay so now you see that saturday is not off so the highlight of the sat saturday color is now removed this blue color represents non-work and normal white color represents standard and extra white color represents exception so i'll show you exception case also so right now we can see in every month saturdays are now working and sundays are only off okay and if you click on sunday work hour will be zero if you click on any other day the work hour will be 10 hours okay so now what else you need to do is you can see the time periods also so you need to change here also it is 10 hours per day here you need to change the hours per week also which is nothing but now 10 multiplied by 6 it will be 60 because you are working 6 days in a week what is the hours per month so let us assume that your uh, you have 4 weeks so multiplied by 4 which will be somewhere 240 and into 12 months so it will be 240 multiplied by 12 which is 2880 so that that might be some approximate number but doesn't matter much so we will click on okay now you can also see the detailed work hours see it is showing that your site starts at 7 in the morning it runs 7 30 and it runs till 4 pm in the afternoon but this is not our case first of all we want this this to be lunch break 1 to 2 so I, what you can do is either you can click on this non-work or you can tap this two times. Okay. I'll show you both the methods. So now this is your one hour break and your site will start at eight. So this particularly should be non-working. So now eight to your 12 to your one, you are working one to two, you are taking rest. So basically one, two, three, four, five hours, six, seven, eight. This will be nine and this will be your 10. So you are basically working from eight in the morning till six in the evening and one hour of break is not counted in your work hours. So you have changed this, but this change will be applicable only for 12th of January, 2024, because you changed it here. So what you need to do is you need to go to the work week and you need to click on all the days. And now you need to do the changes. So this will be your off. This will be your work. This will be your work. This will be your work. And if you click on OK now, then this particular change will be applicable on all the days, Monday to Saturday, but not on Sunday. This is not required on Sunday. So we can choose from Monday to Saturday. And now we can click on OK. So now if you go to any particular day, like see 8th, 9th, 10th, but now Sunday has been removed for some reason. I don't know why. So what you can do is you can again go back to work week and you can choose Sunday. This you can make non-work, non-work non-work, non-work and you can click on OK. Now all the Sundays are non-work back again. OK, if you go to any Sunday like 4th, you will see everywhere non-work. If you go to any other day, you will see that you are working only for 10 hours a day. I hope this is clear to you all. One more thing is 
that you have to make some exceptions like 1st January should be off and 25th December should be off. So whenever the project is starting, you have to go to 2018 October. So October, you have to basically go to December and in December, you have to click on OK. So 25th December should be your off day for 2018. So this 25th December, you have to make as non-work, okay? So this will be zero work hours per day. Similarly, you have to also go on 1st of January and you have to make it non-work. Similarly, you have to do the same for December 2019, 25th January, non-work. And I don't think so 2020 is required because the project will get completed in 2019 itself. So now you can click on OK. So we have created our calendar successfully and this calendar is now ready to be used for several activities. So we can now click on close. OK, so this is how we have created the calendar for our activity. Similarly, you can create a calendar for your resource also. So go to calendars, go to resource, filter by all resource calendars you can add and you can choose some predefined calendar. Maybe we will choose our calendar only which we have created and we will name it as plastering calendar and we can modify this particular calendar so as per our requirements the plastering gang will only work on monday wednesday thursday and saturday so we can go to work week tuesday is off wednesday thursday and saturday friday is also off so now we can click on OK. So now you can see Sunday, Tuesday and Friday will be off every day. OK, so this is how you changed the working days, but you need to change the work hours also. So you can go to time periods here. You can change it. It is already as per our uh, previous calendar only. But what you need to do is you need to go to detailed work hours and you can see this is already as per our calendar. So that is why we chose the IT building uh, construction calendar. So you can click on OK. But one more thing is you have to use this calendar for your resources. This we can only use when we will create the resources. So we will use in, in some another video. So that's all for the video. We have successfully created our calendars and we have fulfilled our requirement. And we created two calendars, one for the activity, other for the resource. We will assign in the next video. So that's all for the video. Thank you.